Hey guys, this is Richard from Welshy Tech. This is me doing another video for you. Something I posted a couple, uh, about a week ago. Um, if people want me to do um, a brand new PC build, obviously it's me stripping my own personal computer and just showing you step by step as in motherboard, CPU, graphs card, uh, even CPU cooler, RAM installation. So I posted on TikTok as well as Instagram and I had about 20 to 30 people actually like the thing. So clearly some people want to know how to build a computer in the year 2021. So this is me now going to continue after this. It's going to be showing you parts and then I'm going to go straight to the installation. So this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to check us up on Twitter. Twitch, Facebook, a Welshy Tech. Don't forget to hit smash that like button as well as that share button. And this is Richard from Welshy Tech. Goodbye. Okay, guys. Richard from Welshy Tech. This is me doing another video for you. This is me going to show you how to install a CPU and a motherboard. Hey, guys. Right, this is uh, Richard from Welshy Tech. This is just me doing another video for you. This is going to sh be showing you how to install a Ryzen CPU on a Ryzen motherboard. Now, Intel's a bit different. They don't actually have the pins on the CPU like Ryzen. They have it actually on the motherboard in the socket itself, which that's the one good thing about Ryzen is that their motherboards, you haven't got to worry about bending pins, but the CPU itself is where you get problems. If you bend one pin, could easily break or it could easily damage a, a memory slot or anything so remember you always take care while taking them out as well as installing them because you bend one and that is it sorry about this i have to adjust whoops a daisy right so right okay right now, gonna zoom in a little. Zoom in a little. Right, this is me going to show you now how to install them. So, right, lift this little tension arm, push down, and then up like that. Now you grab the CPU like that. Now, as you can see, as you can see, there's all these little pins, which you break one. That's it, right? So. There is actually a little, um, there's a little triangle on that side, but with mother, with uh, Ryzen, they only go in one way. They don't go in any other. So remember now, right? There's a little go pin there. It goes in like this. Right. So like that. Okay. Then you go like that. You pull it down, and then boom. That is. CPU installation, the RAM is a little bit different. Now, as you can see, right here, focus, focus, focus. Oop, there we go, right? This pin here, it only goes in one way. That's it, only goes in one way, right? So, now when it comes to motherboard and uh, memory. It's usually best to go for the, not the first slot, the sec, it's the second slot, then it's not the third slot, it's the last slot. Because it's just the configuration, it, used to, it didn't used to be like that, it used to be completely different years ago. You know, but obviously with dual channel mode, you get more performance. So all you do is, uh, clicks on each side, okay? Little clips, you go like that, you go like that, you go like that, you go like that, and go. Oh, there we go. That's RAM installed. Now, a CPU cooler is different because Ryzen comes with this default um, retention bracket, and the, the, the actual cooler that comes with the Ryzen CPU is a little bit different. It's basically you take these off. And then you, there's a, there's a back plate at the back, which comes with the motherboards, thankfully. Then you just screw it on. Uh, with, when it comes to 
obviously uh, installing uh, like an AIO or an aftermarket cooler some of them use this old AMD retention years ago it used to be got a flathead screwdriver and you would push it down on the clips which if I show you which is by here these little clips those but obviously it's different with different now but what they used to do was get a flathead screwdriver and you press it down but a lot of people used to ram flathead screwdrivers straight through their motherboard so now I'm going to show you how to do please forgive me I'm going to show you how to do thermal paste application now when it comes to AMD and Ryzen there's not you know the, the grain size is okay grain size method's fine um, when you get like the bigger CPUs like Threadripper or Epic or um, you know the Xeon types you know there's obviously a difference you have to do it differently might be a long video but I know I don't know I promised people so right uh, that's not doing it okay never mind I've got another one down here. Right, so the thermal paste I'm using is the MX4 from Arctic. Arctic. Just something like that. See? So you unscrew it like that. You go like right. that. And a little line, a little bit of blob there. That's, that's it. That is it. That is all. That little blob is it. Focus. So that little blob and that's it. Right, next we're going to go for motherboard installation to the case. So please continue to watch. This is well Shea. Bye. Okay, and guys, this is motherboard installation. So... I've shown you, I've shown you, um, CPU as well as RAM. Now, this obviously is pre-done because, uh, you know, this is my personal computer and obviously I need it. But what you do is some motherboards don't come with IOs, but majority of them do now. Uh, IO covers, not before they didn't, but now they do. So what you do is you line it up with the... Uh, the cutout in the back of your case uh, depends on what size you go for, MATX or ATX. My motherboard's an ATX motherboard. Uh, you place it down like that and you push. There you go. Done. Now it takes these tiny little screws. Now I've already done mine. As you can see, a little iFixit little tray, which I've already had done myself these little tiny screws which would come with um, your case mainly comes with the case not your motherboard it's that tiny little screw see Whoop. there we go that tiny little screw some motherboards will come with these standoffs that hold your motherboard in place just in case you're doing a vertical installation but as I'm not all you do is Remember, you don't want to crush down on the thread because you can damage your motherboard by doing it too tight. Worst thing you can do is actually damage it. Now, before with the, uh, the older type motherboards, they used to come with, um, sorry, cases. They used to come with these little screws. Uh, they used to come with these little um, like cardboard washers to stop it from arcing and stuff on it or causing an um, electrical problem, but... Seeing as, I mean, yeah, Linus showed it on his video that yes, you can damage parts with um, anti-static, but it's quite rare. That's why I'm not using an anti-static um, anti thing, because as long as you touch something that's metal, it will ground you. So you'll be fine. So 
rasen rasen okay so one screw left I cannot remember for the I cannot remember where it goes um is it that one yeah is it that one I think so yes it is that one come on rich you just disconnect you just literally did this motherboard you just literally took it out right so oh well right now seeing as it is all in now it's all in nice and done now I can adjust things and I can adjust things down so this is going to be a little bit okay there we go right so now I'm going to show you how to do your as you can see look it looks quite nice now I've rarely put my power supply in because there's so many videos on power supplies to how, how, how you actually do it, it's unbelievable. But, um, right, when it comes to, like, the front connectors, um, it, it, it all depends because uh, some some of the boards have the connectors already done and then others then won't. So, kind of remember now where this is, right? So, so usually it is power on top, which are... Uh, let me see, I'm getting old. Uh, usually reset right underneath it, like that, and usually that then is for hard drive, uh, for the LED for your hard drive. So, plug in the rest of it, like uh, USB, USB, uh, this one, that one is for actually for the, uh, for the integrated uh, cooler cable for your AIO then you've got your audio which usually goes right at the end but there and you just tuck them down like that no, that doesn't look too bad my my cables are already sorted but uh, trust me it literally looks like something blew up but oh well right this is me I'm going to show you uh, graphs card insulation now graphs card insulation is quite easy and so it seems that's done Zoom out, zoom out, focus. Right, so grass card like this, right? There's the 16 pin PCI Express connector, and it goes one way, right? So, this is a RTX 2070, and I feel pity for all of you that are going through that problem at the moment with the shortages. I feel really sorry for you, but here we go, right? You grab it this way, right? Now, your motherboard has. It depends on what motherboard you got. Mine has got two 16 pin, uh, 16 pin, uh, no, sorry. One's wired up for eight, one's wired up for 16. And then I've got a basic PCI then, which is for like adding cards, like a network card or a sound card. But you wouldn't want a sound card. Motherboard these days have amazing audio. But line it up, you take off these first. Those, you line it up. And you go like this, and you go like that, and you... there they are, you the click. That would be the retention but there on the motherboard slot that keeps the graphs card in place. So, sorry about this, guys. Ooh. Right, Ooh. oh, blame me. Right, whoa. Calm down, calm down, chill. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be a long video, guys. Don't worry. I'm sorry, I can't help that. <clears throat> now, when it comes to as you've got your motherboard like this right now, I suggest installing your power supply, getting the actual cables for your motherboard, as for the eight pin and the six pin, or just basic eight pin. If I was you, I would grab it right now. Go like that, pull it through. Now mine takes an 8-pin as plus 4-pin. Because my motherboard's actually capable of overclocking. Which at this time in at this time my CPU was overclocked to well it's, well I wouldn't say it's an overclock, but uh 4.2 gigahertz all core at 1.1 volts. Now people are gonna probably go, what? 
How the hell did you get that? Well, I've got proof, I've got screenshots of it on the hardware info. So, oh my god, really? There we go, right. So, we go like this, you go through the blue, 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 blue. Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah, you bugger. Ah, no, don't you dare. No, right, here we go. Right, so, now uh, I suggest plug it in your six pin. Uh, no, sorry, your four pin. Why is this caught now? Ah, right, there we go. So, four pin. Eight pin, like that. Right, this now obviously that's just going to get in the way, you know. But what I would do is like that. I'm not going to show you cable management because there's so many better guides online for cable management. Trust me, you don't want me teaching you how to do cable management. Trust me on that one because I would literally be taking you down a rabbit hole you do not want to go. And that's honest to God now. It's me being honest with you. Maybe you're honest with you. So, take this. This would be for the, the 24 pin. Uh oh, hold on. Right, so, like that. Grab it. Go like that. And there you go. Nice little click. Pull up there. Like that. Lovely. Nice, nice and clean. Now, GPU cables. Oh, God. This one, oh. This one's disgusting because the way I actually cable this is oh, horrible. Honestly, guys, I, I swear now, this was never my intention, but honest to God, this is disgusting. Watch this mess. Oh, now look at that. That looks absolutely ranking. It does. It looks absolutely ranked. Now, I'm not a fan of this. Trust me, I am no fan of it. But... One of them things, in there. right? So you pull it like that. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Right, there you go. Right, there's that one. Hey okay, guys, so obviously you've got to take these now. This is for gra the grass card. You've got to do that like this, right? You just take a normal thumb screw. Uh oh! See, I hate it when it does that. Oh my word! See, I hate it. I really hate it. Don't get me wrong, I love I fix it, but there, I mean, it's not very bloody thing, like, you know, I mean, yeah, it is. Ah, no! No! You bugger. Right, I'm going to put it with my hand for now, I don't trust it. Right. So. Like that. Right. Now, sorry about the angles, guys, but I'm trying to get the best shot. So I can show you what I'm doing at the, at, at the moment, you know, it's a bit of a pain because I'm trying to film this by myself, but there we go, so, whoops. Yeah, it's probably loads, but at the end of the day, I don't care. Not really. I mean, too much, too little, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get the full spread of it, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, oh well, that's all I see. Bugger it, say. Eh, it, bugger it. Why not, innit? it? Why not, innit? it? You know? There's no, there's no need to worry, is there? Not really. I, I don't worry. I'm not stressed out. No. Why would I stress, eh? It's not like uh, I could damage this at any moment. <laughs> you know, but, oh well. Right, so, right, let me install this. This is, oh, Ryzen installation. You put one clip, like that, you put it down, like this. Whoops, right, put that. Oh, my word, right, oh. Right, okay, this isn't showing my skills very, very well, no. Oh, well. So, what do you want to do is like this. I really don't like this mechanism. Ha! Is it clipped on? And it is. Lovely. Right, then you just screw it up. Please remember, though, not too tight because you can buckle it. Right, so. There we go. That's that, then. Right, now, 
before I put this in, I gotta feed all these cables through. Good. Grab those. Ah, don't you dare get jammed. Right? Bugger. Before you ask, guys, yes, I am experienced over 10 years, but uh, yeah, I digress. Oh, sorry. I nicked off Jay. Oh well, bugger it. That's all I say. That's where you pump out there, which goes by here like that lovely and you push this through like that like that boom, 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 boom. like that uh oh right like that like that lovely right not actually done yet guys you're gonna stay now we better had you better had well i hope it does anyway right um uh oh Okay, so this is, this would be radiator installation now. You blame me. Right. Usually you'd use a screw, but I like to just start off the thread with my hand. Maybe a little bit, you know. You don't want to do it all the way, obviously, because you're not going to over tighten this. Because obviously, um, the older type radiators, they used to have the, um, where, the, where the actual water goes through, it used to be right below these little threads. So the older type ones, what they used to do is you tighten it too hard or too much and you'd end up bursting the thing inside. I did that once. Oh my word, there's water everywhere. Luckily, though, I actually saved the computer, but, oh, never actually had, well, I have, I've had one thing die on me, and that was my Intel i5-8600K, which I was quite gutted, because that CPU, oh, yeah, it was only six cores, but it was amazing overclocker, it's 4.7 gigahertz, or like 1.35 volts, and that was amazing back when that was quite impressive for intel you know oh well guys and it built now i'm gonna actually set take you through the bios okay this is me gonna set you through the bios just keep pressing delete this is just me showing how you'd set it up right so that's mine that's my bios okay so whoops it easy so that's my BIOS, obviously MSI has got a click interface, obviously. So as you can see, 4.2, and we've got overclock settings. See, uh, 3600, uh, everything's fine. As long, um, obviously if it's uh, booted, then that's a good thing. That is actually a good thing. But yeah, um, I'm going to edit this video now. Do a couple of little shots. Obviously, I haven't finished everything. Do you want to see the back of my case? Well, this is what... Um, that's what you call kind of cable management. See? Kind of. Yeah. So, yeah. That is awesome. So, 
put this back up now. Whoops, wherever you are, okay. Yep. Right. Okay, so like that. Put it up. Okay, go like that. Go boom 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 boom. Like that. Okay, so like that. And that's it. This is how you build a computer in 2021. Obviously, with the recent uh, launch of the 3060 and obviously stock issues around the world, um, I feel pity for all of you. I feel sorry that those that can't buy them, um, obviously you can't, but things should get better as the time goes on. But COVID, <gasps> COVID, uh, that kind of buggered up everything for stopping factories and all that manufacturing. Um, plants and stuff so it's one of them things but this is Richard from Welsh Tech don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to follow us on Facebook as well as hit that ding ding for new videos this is Richard from Welsh Tech goodbye